So let's go one step at a time. Let's start with the first treatment option and that is surgery. If you read the books, they will give you hundreds and thousands of types of mastectomies. I will make it simple. In the real world, you need to know only two mastectomies. In real world, there are various combinations. Bailey gives a whole table of 10 types. We need to know in the real world two types of mastectomies. The first one, which is the more aggressive one, is called the modified radical mastectomy or MRM. Modified radical mastectomy or MRM. This is the one you need to know. This is the one which is commonly done for a lot of breast tumors. And this is the one which will come in your exams. So what is modified radical mastectomy? It simply means, so let's say this is the breast. This is the axilla. This is the sternum in the midline. And let's say there is a tumor over here in the inside of the breast. So what I am going to do is, I am going to take a nice big incision on the breast like this. So that is the incision on the skin. Then I go inside, I core out the whole breast. All right. So what I am removing is, you understand mastectomy is based on what is removed. I am going to remove first the incision is on the skin so I will remove the skin on top of the tumor that's where I place the incision so the skin is removed on top of the tumor it should include the nipple areolar complex so nipple areolar complex should be in the incision it should be in, removed as a part of the surgery then I go inside and I remove the entire breast parenchyma this is including the axillary tail of spence so entire breast, fibro fatty tissue, all the way till the pectoral fascia, entire breast plus pectoral fascia is all going to be removed. So the whole chunk of breast is taken out and I will remove axillary nodes. Usually level 1, level 2, sometimes also level 3. If I have removed all of this, means skin over the breast, with the nipperella complex, whole breast tissue, pectoral fascia, axillary tail of spines, and all the axillary nodes. Level 1, level 2, sometimes even level 3. That is MRM. Please understand what is not removed. This is more important. This is where we get stuck in the MCQs. What is spared? What is spared is going to be pec major. And everything behind the pec major. Pec major, ribs are all going to be spared. If I also remove pec major and ribs, that was the old type of radical mastectomy. That was radical mastectomy. Where I also remove the pec major. So if they ask you, difference between radical and modified radical, pec major is present. Pec minor may be removed, may not be removed. That depends on what type of MRM you are doing. Further, you are going to preserve some nerves and some vessels which is given by the mnemonic ABCD. They are preserved in both radical and modified radical mastectomy. You are going to preserve axillary vein. This has been asked in MCQs. You will preserve Bell's nerve or nerve to latissimus dorsi, nerve to serratus anterior. You will preserve cephalic vein and you will preserve dorsal or thoracodorsal nerve and vessels so thoracodorsal nerve that goes to latissimus dorsi and the thoracodorsal vessels these are what are going to be preserved in modified radical mastectomy so this is about mrm what all is removed now i told you level 3 axillary nodes may be removed or they may not also be removed now what decides whether they are going to be removed or not is what you need to know and what are the variations of MRM really speaking if you understood the fundamental of anatomy then understanding the variations becomes very easy all right it becomes very easy I told you now let's say this is the sternum and this is the clavicle and this is the humerus over here and there is a pec major on top I have removed the whole breast and now I see the pec major. After I remove the breast, the muscle that I see here is the pec major. When I lift the pec major, I told you behind it, behind the pec major, when I lift it, I am going to see a muscle which runs like this, a smaller muscle, which is pec minor. 
Now my level 1 axillary nodes are lateral. They are all over here. So when I want to remove the axillary nodes, very easy to remove level 1 nodes. Level 2 nodes are behind. They can also be very easily removed. That's why 1 and 2 nodes easy to remove. Problem is level 3 nodes which are over here. The apical nodes. They are behind posteromedial to pec minor. Alright, I told you in the anatomy. They are posteromedial to pec minor. Since they are posteromedial to pec minor, it, sometimes it's not possible to remove them. So what I do is, if I want to reach them, if I want to reach them, what I can do is, I can excise a part of the pec minor. I can excise a part of the pec minor and then go and remove the apical node. This is called patties modification. The original MRM was this, that was patties. So what patty said was, to remove the apical node, remove or excise a part of pec minor. Pec minor, because pec minor is what is coming in vein, not pec major. Pec major I lift and bring it in front. Remove a part of pec minor, remove the apical node. Job is done. Then came another surgeon who said, to remove the apical node, I don't have to excise the pec minor. What I can simply do is, I can just cut it. I just cut it, divide it, so that the muscle splits, then go and remove the node and stitch the muscle back. So that was called as Scanlon's modification. That is Scanlon. So what Scanlon said was, just divide the pec minor and then remove the node and suture it back to remove the level 3 node and the last one the last modification is what is called as Oshin Kloss. Oshin Kloss said don't touch the pec minor don't do anything to pec minor if you are able to remove the level 3 node fine by going behind it if you can't let it be which is why you may or may not remove level 3 nodes in Oshin Gloss modification, level 3 nodes need not be removed. In patties and scan nodes, you are dividing the pec minor, getting the access and taking it out. That's why the MRMs have been modified. That's why it's not mandatorily, it's not mandatory to remove pec minor. But yeah, pec major is spared. Pec major is what will differentiate modified radical from Halstead's radical mastectomy. Right? So that is all you need to know about MRM and sometimes they ask you the most common complication of MRM and the answer is going to be seroma formation. It is seen in almost 50% patients. Seroma formation. Since you are dividing so much of lymphatics, there can be a fluid collection in the post-operative period that is called seroma in the breast cavity because now there is no breast, there is just skin. You can get a fluid collection that is called serum. That is the most common complication.